Welcome back to my Oklahoma Sooners Death Penalty Dynasty. Today we are heading into week 8 of season 1 to take on North Texas, where we are actually favored to win. Let's go ahead and take a look at North Texas's depth chart. First, they have Jace Reuter, quarterback, 79 overall. Running back Oscar Attaway the third, 83 overall. No burners in the backfield. Uh, how good are you at breaking tackles? Alright, well, that may be a problem, but we will we will figure that out. And then wide receiver, they have Jair Shorter and Deontay Simpson, both 80 overall. We will see how we hold up against this team. As far as injuries, we are out wide receiver one slash running back one. He's played both this year. Dominate Cook for the next two weeks and then backup fullback Kareem Lewis is also injured. And then listed as probable is Trevor Winston. So we won't know if he's playing until we take the field. Okay, here's the stat screen in case you care about it. Defensively, they allow 203 rushing yards a game. But our offense is not exactly great at running the ball. As you can tell, we only average 42.7 a game, which is dead last in the country. And it is raining here in Norman today, so throwing the ball is probably going to be even more fun. Oh, that's not a stat screen I need to see. Four turnovers a game, nine points per game, yeah. That, that's horrible. Okay, after a really good opening kickoff, North Texas takes over at the 45-yard line. And let's see what the Sooners defense can do today. We're going to start with the blitz. Ruder in shotgun takes the snap, and he goes to the outside. That is dropped by the receiver, second and ten. Okay, third and two. A chance for a three and out for the Sooners defense. Ruder and shotgun takes the snap, and he's under pressure and will miss his receiver, and OU forces a three and out to start today. And it looks like quarterback Trevor Winston makes his return. So on first and ten, we're going to try a screen pass just to get him going. He finds Kyle Campbell, and Campbell will get a gain of a few yards down to about the 30. All right, second and two, Campbell in the backfield. And we will send him in motion, and we will dump that off to Campbell. And Campbell breaks a tackle, gets the first down, seven-yard gain on the play. All right, second and five, in shotgun. Take the snap, and come back right to the outside. And that is dropped by Cole Payne. Would have been an easy first down. Well, that was Winston's first incomplete pass since coming back. So now third and five going under center. Take the snap, and post route, and almost picked off. Thought I could time that right. Okay, first and 10 from the 40-yard line for North Texas. Reuter comes back out in shotgun. And he's got Attaway in the backfield. He sends a man in motion. And it'll be a handoff to Simpson to the outside. And he will get nothing, a loss of one. All right, second and 11. And it's going to be an option play. He hands off to Attaway up the middle. Attaway breaks a tackle and will have the first down. I sent an all-out blitz, and he still ran for 17. All right, first and 10 for North Texas. He comes back out in shotgun from the 45-yard line of Oklahoma. Ruder takes the snap, and he goes downfield. He's got a man wide open. That is Bryson Jackson out of bounds, a gain of 18. Second and 10, Ruder and shotgun again. He will take the snap. Let's see if we can get some pressure. He's going to try to take off, and Ruder breaks a tackle. He will get the first down, tripped up, and falls down near the 10-yard line, a gain of 16 on the play. First and 10 for Ruder. It looks like Oklahoma's going to blitz again. And it'll be handed off to Attaway up the middle. Perfect blocking. Touchdown, North Texas. All right, in shotgun, Winston comes out on first and 10. We're going to try a quick pass here. Dump that off to Kyle Campbell. Never mind, misses everybody. I clicked Campbell on that play, but had the other receiver been looking, that's probably a catch. Second and 10. Out of shotgun now. And slant right over the middle. That is caught by Cole Payne this time. Gain of 17. Second and 10. Winston in shotgun. Takes the snap. And rolling out to his right side, trying to find somebody open, and we'll go right there. Caught by Lauren Rogers. First down, gain of 15. Second and five, Winston in shotgun. Takes the snap over the middle. That's caught by Lauren Rogers. Trying to juke people out and down after a 19 yard gain. All right, first and 10 in shotgun. Winston takes the snap. And over the middle, he had a man, but overthrew him. Third and 10 in shotgun. Trying to keep this drive going. It's actually been moving the ball well so far. We'll go to the end zone. Caught by Eric Gordon and down in the end zone, actually. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Great catch from Eric Gordon there. I am honestly surprised this does not get reviewed here. But he makes the catch. And let's see if he was actually in the end zone or not. Because that is a hard reach. Yeah, I don't think he was in. But whatever, they're not going to challenge it. North Texas comes out on second and seven. Reuter still in shotgun. Attaway in the backfield. And he will go over the middle. That's caught by Roberts. And that's a seven-yard gain and a first down. All right, second and 12. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. 
They have the ball at their own 45-yard line. Handoff to Attaway again. He breaks a tackle. Please, someone get him. And we had a chance to get him in the backfield, and now he has a first down. Gain of 16. Third and three. Reuter in shotgun. See if the Stooners defense can get off the field here. Handoff to Ragsdale up the middle, and he has the first down. Still not down, and they finally rule him down. It was only a six-yard game, but it was enough to get the first. So now first and ten yet again for North Texas. And the Sooners come out, and it looks like they're going to be in man coverage. Reuter takes the snap, and he goes downfield to a wide open man inside the ten. Damon Ward Jr., 21 yards. And for the record, yes, I was highlighted on that DB, but I was not controlling anything on that play. I don't control anything on most defensive plays. But now, first and goal, handoff to Attaway up the middle, and Attaway trucks through a defender and into the end zone. Touchdown, North Texas, making it 14 to seven. All right, first and 10, a minute 33 to go in the first. Winston comes back out in shotgun, and we were looking for those slant routes right over the middle again to Eric Gordon, and he's got the first down gain of 16. Second and four in shotgun. Take the snap, and we'll just quickly throw it out to Kyle Campbell, who has no one on him, breaks a tackle, gets the first down into North Texas territory. Into the first quarter, a lot better than last week's 35 to nothing beating. We're only down 14 to seven. Start the second quarter, it is third and one. We will take the snap and trying to find somebody open downfield. I don't see anybody will lob it downfield and that is gonna bounce off the back of Nick Brooks. Fourth and one, we are gonna go for this. And we're gonna try a triple option play. Don't know really how well this is gonna work. And I should have given that to the fullback, but that is a penalty. And I'm pretty sure they just brought Winston down by his First face mask. Face mask. And they yes. did. That, that was our strategy all along. All right, third and nine for Oklahoma. Winston takes a snap out of shotgun and timing route to Nick Brooks, and he drops the pass. I honestly think this is too far for our kicker, so on fourth and nine, we're going for it. Take the snap, slant route, and he misses Eric Gordon. Turnover on downs. All right, North Texas takes over after the turnover on downs. From about the 27-yard line, handoff to Attaway, who will be brought down, and there's a flag. First, foul. Offense. First and 22, Reuter will take the snap, and he goes downfield. That is caught by Simpson, and he's forced out of bounds, gain of nine. Second and 14, Reuter in shotgun. He takes the snap, and it's a handoff to Attaway to the outside, and Attaway is going to be forced out of bounds, and there's another flag. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Apparently that's all this team knows how to do is clip people, so yeah, we'll move it back. So after that clipping penalty, it is now second and 23. Reuter comes out in shotgun. Looks like the Sooners are going to be bringing another blitz, and that's a lot of man coverage, and it scares me. But out of way up the middle, and he will gain about eight. That would lead to a third and 16 for North Texas. He sends Simpson in motion. Reuter will take the snap. Looking to go deep downfield, possibly. And he has all the time in the world to throw and finally finds a man wide open. It is Attaway into Sooners territory, down the sideline and forced out of bounds after a 51-yard gain. Second and two, Reuter takes the snap out of shotgun. Goes to the outside, caught by Ragsdale. He's got the first down and brought down after a gain of five. All right, third and eight, and Reuter is in shotgun again. Takes the snap over the middle, caught by Shorter, and he will break a tackle, has the first down, down at about the one. First and goal, and I don't like the way this defense is lined up right now. Reuter takes the snap and goes to the end zone, and had you been paying attention, Franz, that's a pick. Okay, second and goal now for North Texas. And it's a handoff to Attaway, and he gets in for, I believe, his third touchdown today. All right, let's see if Winston can put together another decent drive. On first and 10 in shotgun, only one in the backfield. And we'll go over the middle, caught by John Stewart, and he is popped as he dropped it. That was a good route and everything by Stewart. He just got lit up on the play. Now second and 10, we're gonna try an option play. We're gonna hand off to Foster, and Foster will get a decent gain, gain of six. The only reason I say gain of six is decent is because this offense, as you guys have seen this season, is abysmal. But now third and four, take the snap, and right there, Kyle Campbell has the first down. Third and five, Winston in pistol, takes the snap. And just dump that off to the wide open. I believe that is, yeah, that's John Stewart. I thought it was actually a running back or a tight end. Down 21 to seven at the 50 yard line. We are going for this. Send Foster in motion. And someone's got to come open. Go back to Foster and no one got open on the play. Turnover on downs. First and 10 for North Texas. Reuter takes the snap and he'll roll it to his right side. He's just going to take off. Nobody's there. First down North Texas. And he's going to be brought down after a 19 yard gain. 
You know, blitzing is kind of work for us today, so let's try it again. Second and ten. Send Simpson in motion. He takes a snap. He's going to have to get rid of it quick and finds a wide open man inside the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, North Texas. 28 to 7. 233 to go in the first half. Winston comes out in shotgun. And we'll go right there to Eric Gordon, who has the first down, breaks a tackle, and finally brought down. All right, third and five in pistol. There's the snap. And trying to find somebody open, go right there and miss receiver again. All right, first and 10 for North Texas. Bruder and shotgun play action. Throws to the outside. That is caught by Simpson, and he is forced out of bounds. Gain of 13. Second and two. Ruder in pistol. He will take the snap. Ruder goes downfield. That is caught by Simpson. Off to the races. And honestly, we have not been burned deep too much this season, but a 54-yard touchdown. All right, let's see if we can do anything with a minute 22 to go in the half. We're going to try a play action, and we're going to try to get that to John Stewart and tipped around and intercepted. All right, third and eight. We're going to bring the blitz again. In shotgun, he takes the snap. Goes over the middle, caught by Burns, and bringing the blitz obviously just backfired. Gain of 13. All right, first and 10. In shotgun, 53 seconds to go in the half. Ruder takes the snap and goes over the middle, caught by Shorter, and he has the first down. Gain of 14. Second and goal, 30 seconds to go in the half. Ruder takes the snap. He dances around in the pocket, and he's going to try to take off, and he is brought down inside the five. All right, third and goal. 15 seconds to go here in the half. Can they keep him out of the end zone? Bruder takes the snap, goes to the outside, caught by Ragsdale, and he is brought down at about the four. So obviously on fourth and goal, they will try this field goal here at the end of the half. And the kick is away, and good. So it is 38 to 38-7 at halftime. Obviously that first quarter was a bit better than what we just showed in the second. Trevor Winston threw the ball 31 times in the first half, and we are going to continue it here. Going under center, and slant route caught by Brooks, and he's got the first down, gain of 16. First and 10 now, Winston going under center again. Take the snap, and dump that off to the tight end. That is Eric Cook with an 8-yard gain. Second and 2, let's try a read option, see if we can get the first down. Winston will keep it, and he has the first down slide. Second and 10, Winston in shotgun. He will take the snap. And Winston going downfield to the tight end. That's caught by Eric Cook, and he's got the first down. Gain of 17. Honestly, I feel like we probably need to get those tight ends involved in the offense a little more because they actually have some really good, you know, attributes like route running. Now first and 10. Winston going under center. And we will go to Eric Cook again, and he is down inside the 10-yard line. Gain of 17. And on second and goal, take the snap. And under pressure, scramble out of it. And then stop, set our feet, throw to the end zone, and drop by Lauren Rodgers. Come on, that was like one of the best plays we've ran. Illegal touching. Offense. And Rodgers ran out of bounds before he touched it, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. Third and goal in shotgun. From the 15-yard line, take the snap. Go over the middle to Eric Cook, and that gets jumped by North Texas. Tried to force that to the tight end, and now he's off and running. And he breaks one tackle and brought down after a decent return. Honestly, I thought going to the tight end there was our best option. But now first and 10 for North Texas. 5.54 to go in here in the third quarter. And Reuter will take the snap. Hand off to Attaway up the middle, who stiff arms Amanda next week and gets the first down gain of 14. Second and six, Reuter and Shotgun. We're going to bring the safeties this play. Reuter under pressure, breaks away from one sack, still going and finally brought down for a loss of six on the play by Charles Parker. Third and 12, a chance for the Sooners defense to get off the field. Reuter in shotgun. He will take the snap. Let's see if the Sooners defense can get him. He breaks away from one sack and then just quickly has to throw it, and that is a two-yard gain and a fourth down. All right, 4.30 to go here in the third quarter. Winston will come back out, take the snap, and go to the outside. And that is caught by Eric Gordon, first down. All right, first and 10, Winston in shotgun takes the snap. And we will go to Eric Gordon again, this time a slant route. And Gordon has another first down, gain of 12. First and 10, out of shotgun. Take the snap. Go to Eric Cook, who's wide open over the middle, and another first down for OU, gain of 16. Third and two, Winston going into shotgun. We'll take the snap and dump that off to Eric Gordon. Easy first down. All right, first and 10, Winston in shotgun. A minute 15 to go in the third. Take the snap and go to the end zone. Do you have a step on your man? He does cut touchdown Cole Payne from 19 yards out. That was honestly one of the riskiest throws I think I've done today. First and 10, Reuter in shotgun. He sends a man in motion. A minute 04 to go in the third quarter. 
He takes the snap finally. Goes to the outside, caught by Attaway, who was immediately hit and brought down for a loss of four. Second and 14, 40 seconds to go here in this quarter. And Ruder will take the snap and go to the outside. That is caught by Burns, and he is going to break away from one man and be brought down after a 10-yard gain. All right, third and three, a chance for the Sooners to get off the field, and it looks like they are going to heavily blitz. It's a handoff to Attaway to the outside, who breaks away from one man and will get the first down gain of five. First and 10, five seconds to go in the third, possibly the last play of the third quarter. And it will be a play action. Reuter takes the snap, dancing in the pocket, still dancing, and finally finds Simpson wide open for the first down. And that is how we end the third quarter. But oh, no, that is not how we end the third quarter. There is a flag. Personal foul. Face mask. We brought him down by his face mask. So that is how we end the third quarter, by letting up a big play and getting a 15-yard penalty on top of it. Second and eight, Reuter in shotgun. He takes the snap and goes to the outside that's caught by Ragsdale and he's got one man blocking in front of him and a touchdown for North Texas to make it 45 to 14. All right, third and 10, Winston in shotgun. He takes the snap and go over the middle. That's caught by Lauren Rogers and he has the first down. Second and five, Winston in shotgun. He takes the snap and we'll just dump that off to Kyle Campbell over the middle and into North Texas territory, gain of 13. Second and seven, Winston in shotgun takes the snap. And we'll throw that slant route right there to John Stewart. He's got the first down and a gain of 10. All right, first and 10 and pistol. There's the snap. And we're going to go downfield because he's got to step on his man. And that is dropped by John Stewart. Probably, would, no, guarantee you that would have been a touchdown had he come down with it. Second and 10 going under center now. And we'll force that over the middle. And that was just dumb and tipped around and picked up. They don't even catch it off the initial contact. Okay, so North Texas got the ball back and would just run down the rest of the clock. The last play you saw was just me throwing a dumbass interception with Trevor Winston. But for whatever reason, it didn't show the end of game animation like it usually does. It just went straight to the pictures. Not sure what happened. But let's go ahead and take a look at the stats for today. Trevor Winston finished with a quarterback rating of 113.8. Goes 31-53 and for 342 yards, two touchdowns, and three interceptions. Obviously, we threw the ball a ton because I cannot run the ball to save my life in this offense. But he honestly did not play bad today. Obviously he missed a few throws, but his receivers also didn't help him. Like the one that would have been a touchdown pass that he just dropped on the streak route. Not really Winston's fault. Rushing wise, Campbell didn't even get a carry because every time I ran a read option, they read the quarterback. So Winston goes seven for 15 and Henry Foster goes one for six. Receiving Kyle Campbell did catch seven passes for 57 yards. Eric Gordon, six for 86. John Stewart, 5 for 39, Eric Cook, 4 for 58, and I will, if I can remember to, I want to try to get these tight ends involved a lot more in the offense because he actually has some decent, like, route running attribute, so I want to try to get him involved because he has decent catching, good route running, and I think we can maybe improve the offense a bit. Defensively, we sacked him four times, Mitch Cook got one, Charles Parker, Marshall Williams, and Mario Banks. On the other side of the ball, Jace Reuter for North Texas goes 25 of 31, 328 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions, an 80% completion percentage. Not great, but they did not murder us on the ground as much as most teams do, as Oscar Attaway III had 19 carries for 132 yards and three touchdowns, and then Reuter really didn't run the ball that much, nine carries for 33 yards. Receiving-wise, Deontay Simpson is who kind of killed us, six catches, 134 yards, and two touchdowns. And then Ragsdale, not even going to try to pronounce your first name, five catches, 11 yards, and a touchdown. So week nine was a bye week, so we went ahead and got past that. And we are now in week 10 against the Utah Utes, where we will travel there. And they are two and six, and they are projecting them to win this game, obviously. So before I end this video, I wanted to see what was going on around the country a little bit. So this is the BCS rankings or the college football playoff rankings. Number one is Georgia. Number two is Auburn, so both in the SEC. Number three is Texas. They had to have beaten somebody decent. They beat undefeated TCU 41 to 34. Or at the time, undefeated TCU. And then UCF is four. Ohio State is five. Florida is six. Michigan State is seven. TCU falls from five to eight. Oregon is nine. North Carolina is 10. So there is your top 10. But this is not exactly how the playoffs will be set up. It's not just the top eight teams or the top four teams. Eight teams go, the Power 5 winners all get an automatic bid, the highest ranked group of five, so right now would be UCF, they get in, and then two at-large bids. So obviously, we won't be competing in this for a minute, 
but that is the way the playoffs are set up. But now let's go down the rest of the rankings. Clemson is 11, Stanford is 12, Michigan's 13, Iowa's 14, Florida State's 15, Oklahoma State is 16, 17 is Pitt, 18 is Tulane, 19 is North Carolina State, 20 is Alabama, who is 6-2. They lost to Texas A&M and Tennessee. 21 is Boston College, 22 is Baylor, 23 is LSU, 24 Oregon State, and 25 is Texas A&M. And right now leading the Heisman race is quarterback Casey Thompson in Texas. Uh, followed by Zamir White, Cameron Carroll, Tim Stanley, and then his Thompson's running back, Bajan Robinson. But that will wrap up this video. In the next video, we will take on Utah, and we'll see how that game goes. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys next time.